Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu. And in the continuing series of conversations I'm having with folks who are speaking at Inspire, teaching at Inspire photo conferences, photo retreats, uh, today I'm speaking with Terry Fisk, who's a boudoir photographer based in Rochester, New York. And this is her first time presenting at Inspire Photo Retreats, but it's not the first time she's coming to Inspire. This is her third time coming to Inspire. And I'm, I'm thrilled to speak with you, uh, Terry, because I, I love the idea of, uh, of photographing women, obviously. As a photographer, I love photographing women, but it's in the how that's, that's so important. And you are one of the masters at it. I want to know, yeah. I want to know from your perspective, what it is that draws you into getting into photographing women, especially women. Um, honestly, at the start, I was doing maternity sessions oh, okay. um, and, and lighting a woman's body um, is obvious as a photographer. It's amazing being able to light the female form and especially when she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous. But what I realized in doing that is how uncomfortable and insecure those women were to have that ha have those pictures done. Because especially at that time, you're really uncomfortable and your hormones are raging and, and it's just not a great feeling. Um, so to be able to get somebody to be comfortable for that is huge. And I started to think about boudoir photography. Um, but at that point, there was much more of a male focus on it, um, which I found to be much more um, mm, sexual in nature, one could say. Sure. Um, so, and I, I wasn't attracted to those images. And I started researching. I found a woman in Toronto whose work I adored. Um, Judy Cormier, and she became my mentor. Um, that was 10 years ago. Uh, and I learned how to do boudoir from her. Um, it's a woman-focused boudoir session. Uh, these women come in because they want to do a gift, have a gift for a you know, significant other. But when they leave your studio, they realize that was a gift for themselves. They feel amazing. And that's my focus. That's the focus of boudoir. That should be the focus of every boudoir photographer, not the gift at the end of something tangible. Their focus should absolutely be the woman herself and how she'll feel at the end. Excellent. Well, that it's a, it's a definitely a, a shift from the focus of most, I would say, male photographers photographing yes. women to how women photograph women, right? So absolutely. There's a, there's a big divide in a way. Huge. Um, there is really huge divide. And, and and one of the things I guess you are really good at is really getting deep into the idea of what it is that women are coming to you for. Like, what is it? What not, what is it that inspires them to to reveal themselves in a way, right? Absolutely. So tell yes. us a little bit about your experiences from you know, obviously for you having do, having done this for about ten years now. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. You you've you've met all kinds of women coming through your doors and and you photograph them in a beautiful. Uh, definitely in a very sentimental way, perhaps for them. What right. is it? What is it that drives most women to say, I want to do this for myself? What is it? Why? What is it that that says I got to do it? Well, I think for us there, in society, we see all these amazing photographs of models mm -hmm. that are photoshopped to the nth degree, as we all know. Sure. Um, and I, I think that we are starting to realize, you know, it, it, that's not real. And we want th something that's real. Mm -hmm. um, and women really want to be and need to be empowered. They need to realize that they are amazing as they are. Um, and I, that for me, that's part of finding your fierce, is realizing you are the sum of your parts. And it's your parts are absolutely incredible, every piece of you. Um, you find with my boudoir photography, I do not over Photoshop my, my clients. I never want a client to go home and, and look at their images and go, oh, yeah, I guess I needed to have four inches taken off of my hips. You don't. You look amazing, and I should know how to pose you and light you and make you look as amazing as you possibly can as you are. Um, and I think that's the drive for women. It's not to look like someone else. They want to look like themselves when they feel their most fierce. And that's what you need to bring out in a boudoir session. Wow. Uh, I, I'm, I'm more intrigued now. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm intrigued by your the expression of, of being more fierce. What does that mean? Yes. You know, it means something different for everyone. And that's, sure. that's something that um, I'll definitely be discussing in my, in my talk this time around. Um, it definitely, it means something different for every single person. What does it uh, mean to you? 
for me, feeling fierce is um, knowing that I uh, am able to overcome anything that's thrown my way, that I'm going to be able to deal with it um, and move forward and move beyond it with grace. Um, and that's something I, I strive to do. It's something I strive to teach my children um, that you don't have to um, be, <laughs> can I swear on your show? Absolutely. <laughs> you don't have to be a bitch. It's our show. To move forward, you don't have to. You don't have to be, you know, cruel to to get beyond certain things. But you can be fierce in that. But you also don't have to. There's a, a actually, it's a t-shirt company. There's a shirt going around that. Um, how does it say? Uh, take no uh, something about taking no bullshit. Okay. I can't remember what the t-shirt is, but you know, it's it's don't take any bullshit, but and stand your ground, but do it with grace. And so for me, that, that represents uh, ferocity for me. Okay. But again, for every single person, it's going to be completely different. Uh, you've talked a little bit about your presentation at Inspire, and this is going to be your first uh, presentation at Inspire. Uh, yes. What brings you back to Inspire every year? You, this is the third time coming back, as I said in the yes. introduction. And clearly, I mean, Rochester to... to whether it was in Portland or now it's going to be in Newport, Rhode Island, it's quite a trip. You know, it's not yep. an easy, it's not a thing that you say, oh, I'm going to just do it, you know. Well, especially in February. Especially <laughs> in February, right, right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm curious to know what inspires you, what motivates you to say, I'm going to, I'm going to spend three or four or five days, whatever it is, uh, with uh, other photographers um, in this in this one environment, one one wonderful community of photographers. Um, the word you just used, community. The people that I have met there, I have adored. I am inspired by them, which I, and it's I'm not being che trying to be cheesy, but they truly inspire me. Um, they're all open to talking about their business, their lives, how they combine all of that. Um, it's not just uh, here's here's how to sell things. It's here's how to. Um, make people want to come to you because of who you are. And I think that for me, it speaks so, so much more to me than someone saying, well, this is the trick to get someone to buy what you have. There are no tricks. I don't find that there are tricks for me. It's, it's, uh, I want people to come to me because they're drawn to me. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. I mean, that's really like you hit the nail on its head uh, as to why I go back every year as well. Yes. Um, can you reveal to us uh, perhaps one or two things that you're going to be presenting to uh, the folks who are going to be there at Inspire this year? Well, that's going to be a couple of things. One thing I'm going to do is make them dig deep. I want people to um, to really think about why they want to shoot boudoir and why they why they think their clients want to shoot boudoir. Um, for some people, that'll be a little easier than others. I, I think that you get an idea in your head of why, you know, well, it's popular, so I need to shoot this. Um, and it's deeper than that. So we're going to do a lot of discussion around that. Um, and uh, we're also going to talk about how to properly shoot women and uh, where you need to be prior to becoming a boudoir photographer as a photographer, period. Is this limited to women? The boudoir photography or my talk? Your talk. No, it isn't. You know, it's, it's funny because the first time I talked, I really, a lot of what I do, a lot of what I talk about um, is definitely geared toward women being a woman myself. Um, but I realized um, with my last talk that I really needed to focus on men as well. And I needed to find a way to reach them as well without, you know, found, sounding like a feminist, I, I guess. Um, and I, it, I, I found that it was actually very easy to reach them. Men are going through very similar situations as women, and we don't always recognize that. They're feeling just as insecure and vulnerable. Um, they just don't express it in the same ways. Right. So, I was, you know, it's, it absolutely is great for men as well. Awesome. Uh, lastly, what... I ask this of all my guests. Uh, I would love to know, you know, from from your experience of being a boudoir photographer for, for the last ten mm -hmm. years, what has what has challenged you, or continues to challenge you, uh, in in interesting and creative ways? What is it that you feel like? Oh, I gotta I gotta nail it next year or this year. We're just starting uh, this year out, so we we might yeah. start this year out with that. You attitude, know, this right? I've my 
my photography had always looked very light and bright and airy and, and, and pretty. Um, and this, in the last six months to a year, I've actually started to focus more on, on things being a little darker. Um, I'm really focusing with my women um, on trying to get them to dig a little deeper and get a little sexier with their images. Um, I, I want them to feel comfortable with their sexuality. And that has been a, a focus for me. And that's been a, a slight change in what I've been doing. And I love it. I love when women I just embrace that when they come in. And I love helping them get to that point. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Folks, you've just heard from Terry Fisk. Uh, she's going to be at Inspire Photo Retreats in Newport, Rhode Island in early February. We're going to be talking together about boudoir photography. We're going to be talking about other other subjects as well. But Terry's going to be presenting about boudoir photography. And, and as you've just heard, uh, you have to step in and, and listen to her and come at the come to her presentation. Uh, she's obviously knows what she's talking about. She's a master at it. I've, I've really enjoyed speaking with you. Love Thank looking you, at the, the photographs you have on your website. And and really, folks who are coming to the conference really should come with the idea that they're coming to learn and share as well. You know, Absolutely. You know I think there are photographers who are going to be in your in your audience who, who are probably doing good wall photography already. Um, right. And one of the cool things about Inspire, if I can say so, is that there is no I am a speaker, you are the part of the audience kind of an attitude. Right. It's always right. been, hey, can I talk to you about my work? And, you know, I'm sure someone's going to come up to you and say, can you look at my book or my, my mm -hmm. photographs and give me some ideas? That's what I love about Inspire, really. It's right. it's such a, I don't know. We, we use it's the word, inclusive. It's inclusive. Thank you. It's That's inclusive. the word. You know, it's very inclusive. Yeah. It's like, yeah, come on, let's talk. Let's have a beer, whatever it is, you know. And we there's so much true true uh the, the, there's a there's a down to earthness i guess <laughs> more yes. than anything else yeah. about it that that i absolutely love and enjoy um so anyway i look forward to meeting you uh hopefully we can we can get together and and drink that beer or whatever it is absolutely. and talk shop a little bit more Perfect. i look forward to it thank you so much look for joining to me today well. thank you Sasha. take care bye-bye